So, listen, almost got into it at the ATM. Listen, you guys are going to say, Erica, why are you being fighting folks at ATM? I'm not, but this is the key. I want y'all to be very careful and aware and get away from dangerous folks. Now, it's going to be hard to do in the coming months. I Listen, folks are on edge. I come up to the ATM. The guy's just sitting there. He's fussing with somebody in the car. Now, it's the 4th of July. Most people hitting the ATM is just taking this money to the barbecue, grabbing a few snacks, grabbing a six pack. They're not in a bad move. Now let's even put a layer onto it. I'm in a military town. First in the 15th, you getting paid. Now this guy clearly is not in the military. He's overweight, big, burly black guy in an old Cadillac. Now I'm like, you just sitting here, what the hell? So I honk the horn. Homie jump out the car, swings open the door wide and stands there and looks at me. And I go, uh oh this guy is about to have a crazy moment and in that moment i said no 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 you're not about to have a crazy moment on me sir so i just start reversing i start reversing and getting away from there and he's just looking now listen here and this is broad daylight y'all this is broad daylight clearly you can see it from the video it's broad daylight i don't know if peter gonna cover this up with photo or not but i want you to understand what's about to happen you can have a lot of people they getting up every day. They not making enough money. They frustrated. They angry. They taking it out on their wives. They taking it out on their kids. They beating up their dogs. Well, a lot of people live alone or don't have a partner, don't have kids. They're going to take it out on the first person they run across. Road rage incidents are going to go up. You've noticed that on YouTube. Those videos have gone through the roof, All right? Road rage is ridiculous because most people take the same commute every day. What it is is they're on edge in other aspects of their life. So instead of sitting in traffic, listening to podcasts, educational material, things that can help them move along, they're either listening to talk radio, right wing stuff, pissing them off, or they're listening to music that's basically low vibrational and making them even more angry and they don't realize it. I had a friend get picked up in an Uber at 6 a.m. and the dude was listening to rap and he's like, man, can you listen to something else? He's like, no, I can't. He's like, man, this puts you in a bad mood early in the morning. See, people don't even realize how food, it's not just food, because that's a favorite thing of black people to act like, well, people ain't eating healthy. That's why it's not just the food. Everything you take in your body, I'm talking about music, I'm talking about the books you're reading, the music you're listening to, affects you, right? So in country music right now, they've got a lot of songs that are like, I love you, honey, kind of like boyfriend country, what they call it. And people make fun of it, but a lot of people get inspired to get into relationships, date, and marry from this music. So if you're listening subconsciously to music every day that tells you women and men ain't S, murder, aggression, horrible things, that is into your psyche, that is feeds into your energy. It's not just the food, it's also what you're intaking. Also dictates what you value. Now, another thing. People who have not been, who've been hard-headed, who've not been listening, who we've tried to save, are gonna come back and say, no, you never tried to save me. You never tried to help me. We about to have the return, everybody who act like you ain't never done nothing for them. But we all know we've done stuff for these people. We've reached, jumped over moons and hurdles to help these folks, but they about to get amnesia real, real quick, all right? We're about to have a bunch of folks who you've been saying, hey, save your money, get a budget, uh, redo your, you know, your where you're at. What what kind of debt are you in? Don't get that new car. Don't do that stuff. They're going to play real dumb. Like you never told them any of those warnings. And they're going to be like, I need help. You are going to have to determine for you and your family, what does the conversation look like? What does the, hey, I've talked to you. And if you need my help, you're going to have to go to community college. I've talked to you, and if you need my help, you're going to have to go sign up for this class or go become a motor notary or go do something, right? There's going to have to be stipulations on the money. There just is because we, we, we're we already past the, oh, I tried to help you. I just give them money. I'm just walking away. These family members are going to be looking for you in the daylight with a flashlight. Why? Because they have made bad decisions, and they're going to make sure they leak on other family members. I saw a news article the other day where the lady had they, her mother and her which is her grand the child's grandmother had sent nine thousand dollars to prison to protect their son while in jail now let me be very clear nine thousand dollars why is this family in such a horrible position that they can't get a better lawyer for their son they don't live in a better neighborhood again y'all this is going to start coming through 
you're going to want to, when they say, why would anybody want to buy a house right now? The market's crazy. I'm telling you, the reason they're going to want to buy a house right now is they're going to want to get away from these dangerous neighborhoods. They're going to want to get away from these dangerous schools. They're going to want to not interact with these poverty driven folks. It's coming. I, I've been telling y'all all year long about the food, how the food is going. Look at old Texas boy here in North Carolina. But anyway, we've been telling you about the food. We've been telling you about stock up, get deep freezers. Okay, you in apartments. You're not stocking up. You're not stocking up food. You're not getting more skills. I don't know where you think this is headed, but I assure you if 16 food processing plants, I think it's at 20 now, have burnt up, they're going to be slow in processing food for the winter. Thanksgiving going to look real lean for some folks. But guess what? There's going to be a whole group of people that's going on about their day every day, going on about their life, making money. You know what I mean? The, the course game, people trying to do the course game, it's still going to be people selling courses. They're just going to be cheap. They're going to be like 25 bucks, 50 bucks, because that's all people are going to be able to afford, right? In certain categories or what they will be willing to risk. There's a reason all these people running around, oh, they scam me. Oh, the courses are scams. Because 90% of them don't listen, don't learn, and don't finish a course. We all know this to be true. 90%, the data is showing 90% of people don't even finish the courses they buy. Even at $1,000, I think it's 40% don't finish when the course is $1,000. So think about that. They have the class at their disposal to sit down and take, but they find something every day to do other than the class. Think on that stuff, you guys. It's not the classes. There's nobody scamming these people. These people think somebody owes it to rescue them more than they should rescue themselves. That's a dangerous position to be in. That is a dangerous position where you think someone else is going to come improve your life more than you should be improving your life. That's like thinking your personal trainer is going to work out in the gym and eat better for you and you're going to get abs. That's not how this works. This is why you see all these people running, spending their last dollar getting BBLs. They can't even stay in the home recovery place. They on a plane, leaking fluids, sick, flying back for cheap surgery. They're flying overseas to get veneers for healthy teeth. Again, these kids that are 18, 19, 20, they don't need to do this to their teeth, but yet they're doing it to their teeth. They're destroying their perfectly good teeth at a young age. For a, to look like Insta, other Instagrammers, look like big horse teeth, folks. It looks ridiculous. So again, you see these people that have, are doing things already on the edge now. The folks that are going to be just fine are folks who are going to still invest in what real estate, businesses. Uh, I think I'm doing a series this week talking about middleman to millions. How there's just a million ways you can do that. We've made some pre-recorded video. I'm gonna see if we can get it out with Peter this week um, while I'm in Panama, and then the next week I'll be in Las Las Vegas. And so, even these tourist destinations are still hopping and going. Why? Because people are still going to be going to conferences. People are going to still be going to in-person events. Again, we just talked about how Terry had over what, 300, 400 people at her event. Five, 5K a pop. That's easily one point something, six a mil in one day. Well, a weekend event. And what you got to learn is, there are people who have it. They're going to go do these events. But what you need to do to make yourself safe in these situations is make sure you don't get caught up with people or in situations or areas where it's dangerous. Now, I'm not just talking about the regular hood. I'm not just talking about, I'm talking about some of these working class neighborhoods that border the hood. I'm talking about some of these, you know, sketchy club spots, some of these sketchy restaurants that you wouldn't go to. You know, the Jamaica spot, just get your food and leave, right? There, even the barbershop, you know, careful the barbershops you hang out at. Folks are feeling the pressure, right? So in Atlanta, they're seeing all these people breaking the car windows, breaking the cars, even when there's nothing on the seat in hopes, right? I feel like really it's a person being miserable as hell and they're just breaking windows. Now, I'm not trying to be funny, but if I was in Atlanta, I would be in con connection with Safe Light Repair. I would find out how much it costs to call, have a, um, a glass window repair company because these insurance companies are going to have to pay. They're going to have to pay for these windows. These people are going to pay for these ones. They can't drive around with broken windows all year long. So you're going to have more of that smash and grab kind of mentality happening. And again, these folks, if they would take one fourth of this energy they put into doing crime and actually put it into bettering themselves, what a world we live in. What a world we would live in. It'd be amazing. So look, you guys, this is your girl, Erica Classy Climb Blog. Uh, good luck today. Be safe out there. Stay away from crowds, man.